Hello everyone, Gary here and welcome to a brand new deck deck video. Today I'm gonna talk about this awesome Remdry deck that I was playing on stream today and I had pretty good success with it. It was around 65% win rate and I didn't play that many games. What does it mean anyways? Um, it is something that doesn't involve Yorks around so I like to share it. So let's just go over the deck list here. Double Innovate, Double Living Roots. I think that Living Roots is a card that I'm always consider removing from my druid decks but then i face those hunters and tempo mages all the time and zoo and it's such a flexible card i don't think the card is that great against shaman it i feel like it's super uh, undervalued like it doesn't really trade off of anything you know it doesn't get rid of it's like the stat line of shaman cards is just so annoying all those annoying totems flame tongue and mana tight they have all free hp so you have to always combine it so if it's behind the taunt you cannot get rid of it without spell power and like totem golem you cannot kill with it uh truck you cannot kill with it you know it's this they have either 4 hp or 3 hp so it's it doesn't really do enough i feel like against shaman and shaman is super popular against other druids it also doesn't really do anything like if you play against mali druid it actually doesn't do anything. So um, if you're playing Maligos, so it fulfills the role as a OTK combo. And so in that deck, it's pretty good. But in a, like in a Ram 3 deck, but yeah, as I said, Hunter is becoming more and more popular for some reason. And Rogue is also even playing now a lot of uh, the Hucksters and, you know, just definitely minions, so you can use it against that. And Temple Mages, obviously. Against Temple Mages, it feels like it's necessary to have that card. Uh, just because they play so many minions, and they all have to be killed. If it's the Sorcerer, or the Mana Worm, or the um, Cult Sorcerer, uh, you both, you just have to kill them. Uh, double Wildgrove, double Raven Idol. Raven Idol is just one of my favorite druid cards right now. I think I would play it in all my decks. Uh, just the flexibility of it. When you need heal in a crucial point, you just go for the heal. It has the crazy combo of the Thunderall, so you have this insane late game potential. It gives you the um, opener. You know, you, you keep, if you go first, you can get the ramp or just a, a removal card like Wrath, so it's really good in that situation. And I just like this card. Um, yeah, this is why it's so also played all the time in in uh, Maligos Druid versions, just because you get two spells out of it usually, and it counts towards the Cane Giants and, and the Yorks are on, so it's pretty busted there. So the Wrath also, I think it's too flexible, also very strong against but dealing for free damage is also a much bigger deal than just two damage, just because yeah you can get rid of trucks and mana rooms and stuff like that for two mana. Feral Rage also I think it's a great card. I used to run just one card in my Ram Druid decks, but. Um, yeah, it gets rid of Totem Golem and uh, uh, Flame Wakers. Um, frothing berserkers and that's actually very handy because it's another stat line 4 damage it's difficult to deal 4 damage often on turn 3 like you need wrath plus hero power and that would be already 4 mana but when they play it on you know on free or coin it out and stuff like that it gets difficult so feral rage is actually very nice very rarely there's something for for, for with, H, with 5 hp on turn 3 or turn 4 so usually feral rage gets rid of those cards so it's actually pretty nice in late game, if you play against a freeze mage or whatever, the heal is very important, so it's really nice to have. Mulch, right now I'm running double mulch, I will probably end up cutting one mulch for something else, just because mulch is probably the worst card that is played in competitive Hearthstone right now. But Druid has to play it, because there's no other removal, and the Druid doesn't just close out the games usually fast enough. Yorks around Druid is usually the only Druid that can afford to not run much at all. Just because you have Yorks around is your removal, as stupid as it sounds, but that's usually how it goes. Um, yeah, we have the fan roll. But a deck like this, uh, I don't have any combo finisher, I don't have Savage Roar or Maligos, so the game will usually go long against control and then you need mulch to just get rid of cards like Ragnaros or Golems or even opponents Maligos, whatever. 
Uh, Fendral obviously I like this card a lot, it's super strong with all the choose effects. Also the stat line is really not bad if you play, if you turn out, uh, if you innovate out of Fendral on turn 1 against the Shaman it's usually already GG if you have the breath follow up. It's just impossible to kill it. My keeper, except they have like double rock biter or something like that, <laughs> but that is usually very rarely the case. Maya Keeper, also I li like it, um, I think it's good to have it as a one-off, I don't think it's so good to have it as a two-off, because it's like, it's just a top deck, Maya Keeper mid-game is just uh, really bad, also the second Maya Keeper is usually not the greatest, but one is just pretty fine to have, so I really absolutely like playing one. Double Swipe, pretty core, one of the best removal cards in the game. Azur Drake, it's also like uh, I'm 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 torn between uh, Azur Drakes and Nourishes in general, just because after the Wild Grove or after Innovate, Azur Drake is such a bad card to Innovate out or to ramp out because of the stat line. You really want to usually play an Azur Drake very very late in the game uh, to get with the Swipe or Living Roots and Refs. Also, when you run out of cards, so you have something on the board. But yeah, it's just the combo potential with the refs and living roots just seems so strong. Rid of the claw. I like this card more and more. Also, just because I can use it as well to get rid of mana tides, flame tongue totems, flame wakers, and uh, stuff like that, and force my opponent to use another removal card to kill it. And it has taunt, so protects me against aggro. Emperor Torison. I just think it's one of the best cards to ramp out, if not the best card. Gets, gets you so much value and less ramp. Moongay Portal is the new card I'm running, two of them. Just so much healing against aggressive decks. I feel like I will, if I go for ramp, I will always take damage. And the Hyro potential again. It's like with Barnes. If you play Moongay Portal and get a can out of it, how can you lose? You healed yourself for six and played a can for six mana. It's ridiculous. Savannah's, it's just a very, very strong anti control card. It's like one. Indirectly a removal card, you can combine it with Mulch to steal something. It's a great card overall. The Ancients overall, best taunt for 7 mana. Medivh, actually a surprisingly strong card. It goes very good well with the Moongrade portal. You get 2 6 cost minions and you heal yourself. Just super powerful. Uh, you don't even, like, if, even if you just play it with Fair Rage or something get like free free cost minions it's just and the stats are not super horrible usually you get them out earlier anyways as druid just because of the ramp so i think it's a pretty cool card um i might add like a star for or something in the future we'll see we'll see scenarios just because i'm not the biggest fan of york but scenarios should, should probably be york in this deck and yeah, I'm still liking this scenario so far, so this is my current rant list, I hope you guys like it, let me know how it went for you on ladder, if you enjoyed this video as always give me a like, it supports me a lot and it lets me know what kind of content you like, also I will leave with a link to the Tempostom site with the guide, I love you all very much and see you guys in the next video.